this is to update and to make sure we are clear on some of the things we work on on a daily basis um, to ensure that, that hopefully we can have in-person school. That's what we want. That's been our commitment without a doubt. JCPS students are learning in person this week as the Omicron variant spreads rapidly through Kentuckiana. Today, the district addressed growing concerns about the possibility of remote learning. Grace McKenna tells us what, if anything, would send students back home. The district has consistently said the number of teachers and staff members either sick or in quarantine would be the make or break factor on going to NTI. And right now they're struggling to fill in some of those gaps. For teachers, every day is a test. Anytime you're a teacher, teaching's a tough gig. It is hard. It is hard, hard work. Made even harder by an unsolvable problem. JCPS Superintendent Marty Polio saying Wednesday health experts expect the Omicron surge won't peak until the end of the month. We most likely have not seen the worst of Omicron when it comes to our community and our schools. Just two days into the semester, more than 1,600 students are positive for COVID-19. Polio is hesitant to flip to NTI this early, but says schools are ready. A great fear for me that we will use our 10 NTI days and come to a point where we cannot hold school effectively. State law gives JCPS 10 NTI days for the year. Polio says using one at a time wouldn't be impactful, and he's calling on lawmakers to give them more flexibility. Complicating matters, decisions would be district-wide instead of school by school. 15 absences at my building, we can still run. 15 absences in a 20-something staff building, they cannot run. In-person learning hinges on teacher shortages. Right now, nearly 600 Hundred staff members are sick, positions filled by fewer available subs than ever. Ten years ago, this was not the case, uh, but everywhere now, there's a severe shortage of subs. As for the rumors of turning to NTI. We got a lot of questions. Are you, you know, kids are preparing for NTI, teachers are preparing for NTI. Yeah, of course we are. We have to prepare for NTI. We know that's probable. Polio says probability plus preparedness are the answer for now. Polio says any decisions about switching to remote learning would likely come the evening before so that families have some time to prepare. In Louisville, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11 on your side. Over about the next six weeks, you know, we vaccinated thousands of JCPS employees to the point now we're right at about 90% of our employees are fully vaccinated. And that high number of fully vaccinated employees can in part be attributed to the monetary incentive that JCPS put out a few months ago, according to Dr. Polio. 